these kind of things, but I will do my history, which is very complicated. But anyway, I was just going to talk about Griffith Park. It's a, it's a talk about standing on your hands. <laughs> um, I was seven years old or so when I lived near Griffith Park. And it had a gym facility that's on sand. And so people would come there on the swings and parallel bars and things and high bars and things. And they were really good. And I, so I got involved in that at about seven years old. And um, so I kept trying things. And um, one thing they, with these rings, you'd, you'd, you'd come in and give you a little push, but then you'd do a kip. You'd hang on to the ring and go backwards, and you'd kip out. Yeah. And then it, you'd increase your swing. Yeah. And so I kept increasing my swing and then I would let go and do flip off the rings. Okay, I'm here. But I missed one time and I landed on my broke my so uh, wrist. So I have a photograph of me with my in a cast when I was about seven years old. But that isn't the reason this but on, in that, there was this one guy that was really a good gymnast. And uh, one day, I'm over there, and somebody says, do you see Sammy? He's up on the top of this building on this uh, movie production studio had a really tall building or something, or, or maybe it was a water tower, I don't know. But there was Sammy doing a handstand on the top of this thing. Oh my gosh. And it, so... You know, I've seen your son do crazy stuff like that at the top of Mount Timpanogos, on the top of the building. Yeah. I'll have to show you a is, picture of that. His yeah. gut lever? Yeah, he's very top of the building at top of Mount Timpanogos every year for his birthday to the handstand. Crazy boy. That is, it is. Um, <laughs> anyway, I have a, that's all that I had to say. I was yeah. came to mind that, that that's the first time I ever saw anybody do those crazy things. <laughs> and you were seven. Yeah. Wow. This Sammy guy that, how old was he when he was doing stuff like that? Oh, he's in his 20s probably. Oh. A little bit older. Was he the one teaching you how to do this stuff at Griffith Park, or was he just somebody that you knew down there? Well, he was doing things, and so I kind of was mimicking, you know, or I mean, I was learning not from somebody coaching me, but just trying to do what they did yeah. on there. So that got me going in gymnastics. And um, so when we moved to play at El Rey, there was a, a guy named Leonard Harris who was a gymnast, mm -hmm. and he was a ring man too. Mm -hmm. In those days, the, the, they had a swinging ring as well as a steel ring event for the men's championships. Mm -hmm. And um, his brother, his name's name too, he, he was a championship ring man, so Le Leonard became, as he grew up, he became a ring man. And they, they put up their own set of of rings on the side of their house. Oh, cool! And and we lived where we lived. It was just sand dune, mm -hmm. you know, just one kind of two miles of sand dune. That's, yeah. People lived there. There weren't very many houses. Yeah, and they're mainly movie people. So uh, anyway, Leonard was a good friend of mine, and he he became a ring man. Oh, really? And uh, he kind of opened the door a little bit for me. Um, when I was in the seventh grade, seventh grade was the first year of high school where I was at Venice High. Uh, seven, they didn't have a junior high, it was just mm -hmm. seventh grade through the 12th. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going out to... Uh, 
for the physical education mm -hmm. hour mm -hmm. and for the first day of the seventh grade this coach comes over and lines us all up all of these kids up and he's going around and looking at your body yeah and he's and he'll take you know one person out and uh, and let the rest of them go play what they want to play right but with these kids that he looked over uh, he took them over to the gym and he he put them through physical exercise wow. lots of push-ups and sit up and that kind of thing yeah. and so uh, you know, one day he said, okay, if you can do 80 push-ups right now in a row, I'll, I'll let you go for the day. <laughs> Could you do it? Yeah, I, I did 80 push-ups. Oh, wow. And so he, uh, so next week or so, he says, come on, get with me. So he takes me down to the gym yeah. with all of the gymnasts. And in high school then, the gymnastics teams were outstanding. Yeah. I mean, they were college type, several Olympians in our, yeah. uh, our group in this high school gymnastic cool. team, right? Yeah. Led by a guy named Hughes, Coach Hughes. And so he introduces me to Coach Hughes, and you couldn't compete until you got the ninth grade. Yeah. But meanwhile, I could train with the, from that point on, I trained with the gymnastics team. Wow, that's very cool. So when I reached uh, the ninth grade, when I was first credit, I did fairly well. But we moved from Playa del Rey to Van Nuys mm -hmm. out in the valley, and they had really a good program too, and I was on their gym team. In that year that I took the championship uh, in gymnastics, um, there was only one person that was had beat me in any of the high schools, and that's a guy named Russ Tramlin. Mm -hmm. And Russ, um, he didn't do the strength moves that I did, nor do I think he was had his form good, but boy, could he tumble. Uh -huh. And so, when we played against North Hollywood, he won. And he was rightfully a better gymnast than I was. Mm -hmm. But in the championships, he was doing Tom Thumb, so he didn't come to the championships, and I won the championship oh, because wow. he didn't show up. That's fun. But How that, old were you when that happened? I was in the 10th grade. Okay. That's exciting. I, let's see, I don't know how old that would be. Probably around 15, yeah, 16. 16, yeah. Because Mason's just turned 15 and he's in ninth grade. So 10th grade would be the next year. So 16, 16. Right, probably 15 or 16. Yeah. Hmm. And awesome. when I won it, um, it was held at North Hollywood. The, the final mm -hmm. championship game of the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, so... Jane Russell, who was a big babe in, yeah. in the movies those days, mm -hmm. she was there, and then as a result of it, she came over and kissed me. That was it, my reward. Wow, that's fun. Um, <laughs> what movies was she in? She was okay. in The Outlaw, uh -huh. who was, which was put on by Howard Hughes. Yeah. I feel like I recognize her name. I need to look and her up and see they, what she looks they, like. Uh, they advertise it by having a plane fly up and down the coastline of California, yeah. dragging this big banner, banner saying the outlaw and Jane Russell group. Wow! So she was very, very well known. Wow, that's fun. Because of Howard Hughes, who decided that he was going to produce as well as yeah. his finance movies. That's so cool. And so I. But being a gymnast, um, also something really happened was really quite remarkable. Um, Play the Ray was just a very small community. It didn't have any schools or right. anything like that. Uh, but 
just to the south was a little community that was servicing the ships coming in with oil. Mm -hmm. And so Standard Oil, if you will, owned this community. Mm -hmm. And they had a very nice school. Mm -hmm. But one of the executives was watching the Olympics one year and he's, and um, he thought it'd be a good idea to build a swimming and driving pavilion in Olympic, well, in mm -hmm. El Segundo. Oh, wow. So he built it and put it there. Uh, then all the kids, every Wednesday or whatever grade they're in, ours was Wednesday, you had to swim 30 laps. And so every kid in the school had to swim. Wow. And, um, That's a lot of laps for kids. But my thing was the diving. Yeah. I mean, I was swimming, but being a gymnast, I started off diving off these boards and doing all kinds of oh, things. That's cool. Like this guy did. And mm -hmm. uh, so I, when I was uh, in the fifth and sixth grade, I was competing. Oh, wow. In, uh, in diving? diving? Wow, that's very cool. Now, the, re the reason that was great is because where it led me. Yeah. And where it led me was when I got back from Korea, mm -hmm. from the Korean War, um, in the Korean War, we had what I do. They had total quality management. Mm -hmm. the first time I'd ever seen it. It's a management system. Mm -hmm. And we had it in our fighter bomber squadron. I was the crew chief of the fighter bomber. Mm -hmm. 